No. That's... That's... Yeah, I just realized something terrible. You what? have been muted this whole time on my side. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Lordy lord. Well, there's 18 minutes. Oh, facts. Facts. Well, that, hey, it's not a, it. not a stream if there ain't problems. That's all we yeah, that's not good. So, well, yeah. I, so I, I guess I, a, a I, summary, uh, sorry, just re real quick, just to bring people up. It's we we'll try and sum up 18 minutes and 30 seconds. This is going to be shocking. Um, we were talking a little bit we about the conversation we had. We were talking about where we were going to pick it up. We were about to move on to Trump's policy, but we were talking about um, what Trump said for when he tweeted about delaying the election. I'm sure you guys have heard my side. Oh, shit, yeah, they've only heard my side, so they actually know what's been happening. Fuck, that's irritating. Well, I guess I, I repeat and rephrase what you say. Do you want right, to give, uh, but... give a summary in your words of what just happened in the last 18 minutes? Because you're the only one they haven't heard. Um, basically, we're confused about Trump um, wanting uh, absentee voting. Even though, like, the past month or so, he literally has not wanted mail in voting. But then there is some dynamics to it in which he he did say a bunch of reasons as to why he doesn't want mailing voting. And but then he was clarified this morning as to just to make sure that he doesn't want uh mailing voting. He just like but he that there are certain concerns, yes. So yeah, like you could say he did say it, he didn't want it, but at the same time it was more of him just listing the reason why there there could be a, a need for that. But not but yeah, but then clarifying to say in the morning that, yeah, no, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want to move the dates. Yeah, well, but he we doesn't want it, but they still consider. It. But yeah. yeah, yeah, it's considered, but it's not like he's he's like he hasn't really blatantly said that this is what we're doing. But yeah, I also I do have to give you a lot of credit for disagreeing with the president on two points. It's hard to find conservatives who are willing to do that. I mean, like, I'm not like. Uh, I'm not gonna be uh if I don't believe something is right, I just have to say it, you know. Uh better I'm a uh what the heck? I don't know, this person just left a weird comment. But yeah, um, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So uh I mean let's uh, let's we, we can move on in that because I think we kinda just hit a spot on there. Yeah, no, uh, we no, yeah, we're in full agreement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, but but like Technically, he hasn't really stated it. Really, he no, just he, kind of he did he, state that he was yeah, thinking no, about no, doing no, it. You can't you can't yeah, pretend yeah, like he didn't say. It. He fully stated no, it no, in no, text he, he, and with his voice. Yeah, yeah, thinking about it, but then like actually, when it was reinforced, he said, "No, we're not doing that." But he just I don't. I, I mean, just because there was some kickback, I know I wouldn't give him credit. He absolutely said it. It was something he was considering of proposing, and I think that's and dangerous yeah, yeah. for him to propose in general to try and get steam. Yeah, we live in a world where it got knocked down, but if it had gained steam, that would have been a very dangerous note. Yes, but it was considering, so, you know. Yeah, just because we live in a world where the building didn't burn down just mean, doesn't mean we shouldn't live in a world where we don't have fire regulated. No? All right, okay, how about this, how about this, how about this? Just because someone sees a protester and says the protester is blocking his way, and he thinks about, like, running over the protester, but he doesn't, doesn't mean that he ran over the protester. It just means that he thought of it. You know what I mean? If he thinks about running over the protester and doesn't run over the protester, it just means he thought about it? Yeah, he just thought about it, but he didn't actually, yeah. like, actually... I mean, I'll agree to he, that. He was, What's the analogy here? Like, basically, like, it's just the same thing as, okay, well, th this person, like, is the same thing as saying million voting yeah but like when donald trump goes out and tweets and says that he's thinking about doing it it's not like an individual person thinking about running over someone it's someone getting out of their car and saying let's run these guys over or getting out of the car and saying i want to run these guys over and looking around and saying how many people look and be like yeah let's run these guys over because when a bunch of people turn around and say what the fuck is wrong with you get back in your car and the dude's like mm -hmm. and then get back in his car like he was still trying to get everyone to run people over like you can get charged well, with well, inciting well, well, violence well, well, well. on people that's absolutely something well, that well. we do hold to a certain standard so well, well, i don't really you're, accept you're, that you're, as a good reason you're you're using the idea that he was uh like telling people he wasn't saying should we 
like there's so many factors as to why we should but well this is i guess that gets boy uh, you never let me finish bro that's fair i'm sorry i've been kind of stepping over here like 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 he uh he 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 said he was thinking there's so many reasons why we why we should run over this person because they're in our way but at the same time when he cleared when he when he was asked about it he ended up not running the person over right and he was like okay well guess what and then when they double checked with him so are are you gonna run the person over he's like no yeah, but that's that's literally exactly the analogy I had I gave to you. It's a dude who got out of his car, said, "Man, I want to run yeah, these people that, over." And I don't and if you're going to say that the only issue with that, the linchpin in my argument is that you can't say he was trying to gain steam, that he was just trying to express himself, then I guess the issue would be is like, do you think that when the president says something, he's not trying to get people to agree with him? You think he's not I trying mean, to do that? But, I thought he was like a really good yeah, communicator. Yeah, but at the same time, like I'm just saying, I'm just saying that, yeah, he was listing out the idea, the reason why, why we should do it. But at the same time, you know, when when clarified, it was like, okay, no, we're not doing that. So, do you think it's okay for someone to get out of their car and be like, I think we should run over all these protesters for X, Y, and Z? You think that's a good thing? You think it's like okay? I mean, yeah, we always have to think things out. Like, is this? You is think it's some? Is this a? No, wait, 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 wait. You think it's wait, wait. I, I, I'm, let, me, let me reclarify because I understand that running protests over is something that people disagree about because people think certain protests are inherently biased. So let me rephrase the statement. Do you think it's okay to be willing to incite actions of violence or declare actions of violence and just have that be okay if people shut you down? Like, do you think we should allow people to just say, "I'm gonna do this violence"? Do you think that's something we should just allow? To like do allow violence, allow people to just declare that they're going to do violence. Well, he didn't declare that he's doing anything. He's de- de- he's he saying, he declared that he was thinking about delaying the election. Yes, he was thinking about it. Yeah, he didn't declare these are the actions I'm going to take. He said I'm thinking about this. Now, no, he outlined the scenario in which he would have to take those actions. So he absolutely said this is something that we might really come. Back. So this is just saying that he was yes. thinking about <laughs> just saying that he was thinking about it isn't a good fallback because it's something that he declared as actions he was considering to take as the president. And that when you're yes, considering so. to take unconstitutional actions, we start to have an issue. Yes, but there are situ- but there you just because something might be like unconstitutional does not mean that we don't ever like think, oh well, wait, 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 wait. Just because something might be unconstitutional or something that might be a little controversial doesn't mean that we don't consider it an option if it's necessary. Just, Just because, because something right? is unconstitutional, we don't consider it as necessary. Is that, that what you said? Does it does it mean that you does it mean that there's no situation where you might have to consider that an option? Just because something completely violates the Constitution doesn't mean we should consider it as an option. I really want to make sure that you agree with this statement before I respond to it, because I don't think this is a good statement, and I want to make sure that you feel comfortable. Just like when you make amendments to the Constitution, just because something is not constitutional right now does not mean that there's not going to be ever situation where you might have to consider that where you're like where you have to you 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 have to be like well this makes sense to do this i don't Doesn't know where to start with this well. like i really don't um but wow. so you're, i so you're i think you've said it okay i'll give you more rope i'll give you more rope keep going keep going so so you're saying that there's never it's a little controversial that's a little out of your comfort zone that's a little i'm fine with controversial not, you know, unconstitutional is fucked up and i can tell you why do you don't do you don't want more rope emmanuel you don't want more rope i'm actually i'm asking you what the i'm asking i'm asking you you're telling me there's never going to be a situation like and there's been constitutional amendments before Right. There's there's always gonna there's gonna be situations where things have to be done that aren't really agreed upon by the constitution. That's true. There's been amendments to the constitution before, right? Now, okay. Then, first of all, no, wait, hold up, about stop. It, thinking about no, first of all, uh, you you've, you've, you've gone action. for a minute it's and you've said a whole bunch of stuff. I gotta I gotta respond to some of this, Emmanuel. You've 
but like it's not, after it's you not said that super thing, thing word, i let you keep bro, talking for a minute it. and it's like we like got to talk about it's this it's not like he took any act oh, dude let me finish let me finish you're always, you're always talking over me bro i'm just finishing this it's not like he actually took any action he's t- informing people that oh we're not, not going back to that statement until we address the unconstitutional thing we're not moving backwards we're fuck why do you keep doing this yes oh, but he's fuck. thinking about it he's thinking about things that does not mean that it's like wrong for a president to think of things that might be considered unconstitutional. It's absolutely. It's hey, li- okay. Let's 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 unpack this now that I've given you all this rope. Because please. let's no, please, please. You've gone a lot of places. You've gone to the unconstitutional thing. You went back to a new argument for why what Trump didn't do was wrong. Let's unpack some of this one at a time. Then a little, little less guest galloping. So what we have here is I'm gonna go straight for the unconstitutional one. Because if you reform the Constitution, you know what that is? An amendment? Uh, an amendment is constitutional, right? So making an amendment and doing things that are unconstitutional, diametrically opposed, not the same thing. To suggest that there are situations in which we should violate mm-hmm. the Constitution, which I think is actually the only good founding document that I've really seen for most countries, is like genuinely when you look at like what we've had, what we have now and what we get, like what we get to do like almost every other generation or every generation gets to submit an amendment to this wonderful document so no violating it absolutely fucking off the table 100 percent. you can think about it you can like as an individual as a person to yourself or maybe to your buddies yes, go yes, you uh, sh- stop, 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 oh, stop, boy, stop, stop, stop 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 all right as an individual to yourself in a private format you can have a joke, you can have a thought, absolutely. fucking lutely But when you go onto a public platform and you start suggesting actions that violate the Constitution, there is absolutely zero, no, bar none place for that in anywhere in our political structure. Once we start violating the politician, uh, well, violating the Constitution, we start going down a track towards dictatorship, and that's why people on the conservative side get. Why that's why people on the conservative side get labeled as fascism because following the constitution is the one thing that keeps our balances equal. Like that's literally like as a people who are going through trying to make sure every generation we keep this weird makeshift country together is the fact that we follow that freaking document and to ever be somewhere where you can suggest that not following that document could at any time be a really good idea, you have strayed so far from the not only the regular beaten path, but the path that makes logical sense. If we want to change the uh, Constitution, we as a people have the strength to do that. When we have the numbers of an idea of all the people who agree on something, we can absolutely put that in the Constitution, and boom, now that's constitutional. Absolutely. But up until we do that, we follow the Constitution as it is. And... I don't, why do you think that f- breaking the Constitution is in any way a feasible plan that could ever be considered yes. by someone enacting real policy? What, what? Why do you think breaking the Constitution is something feasible that can be enacted by someone Hello? doing real policy? Can you not hear me? Bro. It's a idea based off. Well, yes, I can hear you. Can okay. you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. It was an idea. You're su- you're suggesting that he actually did it. Putting an idea out there is how you make amendments if they are necessary. He did not go and force people to. He didn't force anybody. No, we just have a president that suggests a whole bunch of unconstitutional shit left and right, and that's a problem. How do you not see that as a problem? If like he's literally doing all the shit, people, like, well, you froze, bro. Like he's literally doing all the shit they fucking accused Obama of. Like literally, like literally, they accused Obama of having these ideas and tried to de. Like you used the word the other day, demonized, to try and say that people are getting mad unjustly at someone. They got mad unjustly. They demonized Obama for saying that he wants to take their guns and that he is going to try and uh, not push back the election and extend it how long he was in office. And those are literally what Trump is doing right now. So how can you suggest that, like, just because he thought about it, it's fine? What the... What? What? Just because he had bad intention to break the Constitution, it's fine because he didn't do it? Like, seriously? 
Like just it's because I just movie. because I went to my sister's house to murder her, and just because I got stopped at the door and I realized I'm not gonna do it, or like I got stopped at the bed and realized I'm not gonna do it, doesn't mean I didn't have the intention of getting in my car, driving to my house, and fucking murdering her. That's still a fucking problem. Just because I stabbed the blanket and she was in some she was on vacation, doesn't mean that I don't have an issue. Like that's something you have to fucking address. That sh- is something that you should be a fucking huge red flag. I don't understand why you can disagree with those first two things but somehow get behind this no no now you've switched now you're now you've switched on one of them and now you've gone back behind it because before you said you would disagree with it but now you're trying to find some way that it's like no but it's fine that he did it it's fine that he said it because he didn't do it which is like one of the five five stages of trumpism one he never said it one okay he said it but it's not bad two okay it's bad but it's not illegal uh, fuck, I can't Whoa, count. We'll then it's talk. illegal, but it's not that big of a problem. Trump 2020. It's a, it's a simple five, it's it's five stages you guys go through every time. You never said it, not that bad, not illegal. Okay, it's illegal, but it's not a big deal. Trump 2020. Like, seriously. Like, because now we, it is illegal, it is unconstitutional, so now that we have gotten to he said it, and it's not bad, and it's a bad, and it's breaking the law, you're trying to go back to it's not bad. It, that doesn't work. It's bad because it's breaking our constitutional law. That's what makes it a bad. That's what makes it not right, good. Bro. I don't. How can? I, how else can I make that more simple? Bro, can I speak now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> can I speak now? Like, sure. Go. How does it? Simple. How does it make it not a bad? All right. Okay. Okay. I just said, bro. I don't agree. If we are going to move the dates, I just agree. Like we're, we're, I already agree. Where it's bad if we move the date. I. But I didn't say that him. But if he decides, okay. Okay. Well. Guess what? It's look at looking at all these factors. There might be a reason to move the date. Doesn't like so. Yes, I disagree with moving the date. But if you look at all these factors, like okay, there might be a reason for us to move the date. If he then he, he decides, all right, we're gonna go and actually take the legal processes to make it possible. And if people agree with it, they'll agree with it, and it gets voted legally. Perfectly makes sense. If people actually go and vote and say that it's perfect, like they agree with it, that makes sense. But I don't agree with the fact. That if if he do, if he does want to move the election, but then he clarifies, actually, no, I don't want to move the election, and I'm like, okay, well, he says he doesn't want to move the election. He was just thinking about it because of all these factors. Now, if he did go out of his way and was and then like just forced it all of us and did some kind of like executive order to just move it, that's terrible. He didn't though. It was a thought. Everything starts as a thought, and then if he, if he goes to the legal process of making it possible. And then everybody goes and votes for it constitutionally and legally and the way it's supposed to be due before they make an amendment makes perfect sense. That's all I'm saying. Oh, so we're going to push through a constitutional amendment at some time within the next four months to allow Donald Trump to extend the thing and change the constitution. That's what that's what you're proposing. It would be make it okay. If if, if, if he if he really thinks it's that important that he goes through and tries to get it done legally and you see no and problem with the no, president no, no, no. extending and his stay in office you never let me finish oh my god if he goes through and tries to get it done legally and then we go through the processes and it turns out that the right amount of numbers of people that want it to be to happen lets it happen then then he did it like legally now 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 it's not now it's not unconstitutional because it's, it's an amendment now mm. but he has to mm. do it legally I don't believe in him doing anything illegally, right? Well, no, you actually did. You kind of did make that argument last night that you do think that there are certain things that they're allowed to bend. You did make that argument last night. Yes, but I'm not talking about stuff like that. I was talking about... Right, now you're just saying different things. Like, he's allowed to do things that are illegal, but not here. So... No, no, no. There's no different things. No, no, there's different policies that the presidents are, like, presidents are allowed to do. Presidents have different powers and different rules. Like, so certain things that they do are not the same things that we can do. So like well, like a president might like kill someone overseas, like that's like a presidential power. That's like, it is criminal. That's that, that's basically what I'm talking about. Like criminal things that like is really illegal, but he's a president. So it's part of his, kind of part of his job kind of stuff. I don't mean at breaking amendment level type of stuff, bro. Right, well, because well, that's, that's what Trump's, Trump's been proposing. And I think, I think, I think that, that when you look at someone who even proposes to break constitutions, constitutions you have an issue. I think, I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of interesting that you can define it as comfortable because he didn't actually do it. He just said, but you know, there's a lot of Trump yes, shit, but, but there's a lot of shit that Trump just says. And then we're all like, oh, he just said that shit. You know, 
He just said it. Like he's not gonna actually make. He's not gonna actually make try and make China pay for the or make uh fucking Mexico pay for the wall. He's not gonna actually ban people from coming into this country. He's not gonna actually suggest getting a gun ban that takes away the guns out of straight from people's homes unconstitutionally. He's not gonna do that. He just said it. And then like there's a lot of shit that like he actually does end up doing. And then when you start looking at the shit he actually ends up doing. You're starting to be like, hey, maybe we should start paying some t- shit to Did things. The president of the United States of America says, maybe when the United lo- States of America president says a thing, we give it credit. Why? Because he's the president of the uh, United States of America. And so we shouldn't just say, like if a, a normal citizen said that, that, maybe we're having a different conversation because now we're, talk- we're still talking about intent. Morally, it might be similar. But we're at- when we're talking about in real life, a regular citizen saying something like that, Totally different, because a regular citizen doesn't have the sway, the power, the influence, or the actual ability to do it as the president of the United States of America. So yes, the president of the United States of America said a thing, and because he said a thing, we have to address it, and you should value what he said, because yes, we do. his we do. words we do. lead exactly. directly... Exactly, stop, we're stop, we're stop. No, no, I, I know, I respected you, and I interrupted you. I'm trying to not do that. Please do not do the same back to me. There is well, a you, difference you when the president. Like past like five minutes. Oh my god! Uh, uh, I'm trying to get a single thing in. All right. Like, I, ha- like, I haven't, but he sure, sure. Bro, like you have, but you do. You go like on long. Like, okay, okay, go. Like, you, said that you said about the addressing it part. We did address it. We found out the next day that he said no. That's not what I. I don't actually want to do that. I was just suggesting because of all these factors. But no, you keep not. saying so he doesn't it. want to so do it, but his desire to do it is not critical on the fact that he actually suggested it. I could say I don't want to ground you. I'm still gonna fucking ground you if you're my kid and you did something wrong. I might say I don't want to shut and down the country for Corona, and you're still gonna shut down the country for Corona if it's a problem. You're gonna do things you don't want to do if you have to do them. You know what it's called? It's called being an adult. It's called growing up and it's called dressing real life. You do things every single day you don't want to do. And just saying he doesn't want to do it will not in any way devalidate the fact that he suggested it as something that might actually happen by his hand. So no, I do not accept the submission that him just saying he didn't want to do it in any way devalues or delegitimizes the fact that he suggested it. Uh, No, it's a bad reason for it because people do shit they say they don't want to do all the time. Did I not just did I not, did I not just say that if he does it legally and suggests it legally that then it makes sense and then somehow people actually agree with him like if that's if he if he, if he goes and he does it legally and then he legally makes an amendment okay then it makes sense then like if he like okay if he said okay right now right at this moment I'm just gonna force everybody to move the date. All right. 100%. You think? Okay, so let me. I'm gonna ask you three quick questions, and they're gonna make that point seem ridiculous. Are you ready for them? Three, three quick questions. One second. It's like for like. Wait, 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 wait. You notice how I was like. Yeah. Well. Well, because the thing is, is that you suggested doing it legally, but I don't think you're understanding what world we live in when you make that suggestion. So I'm going to ask you three questions about real life, about what that statement. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm going to I'm going to write down I'm going to write down my three questions. What was that? It was. Yeah. You glitching? You're cutting. I don't know why. Yeah, wait, hold up. Okay. What do you mean? I'm sorry, all I heard was what do you mean by suggestion? Yeah, I think I don't know if you're, if you're glitching or if I'm glitching. I don't know. No, we were, we were both glitching there for yeah, a second. Discord's, Discord's not perfect. Okay. Okay, I think we're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So what well, you said? So but what do, do I mean by but suggestion? You realize, but, but you do realize my point, right? Like I don't agree. Let's just clarify this. Making three bold points right now. Well, I maybe One, I can. I think I. I, 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 I think I, I can summarize your point See, real you quick. Do, man, you always interrupt me before I can finish my sentence. Let me finish. And... Right. One. One. I don't agree. If the president, if he like, if he says we're moving the election. Two. If he like, but he we already clarified. That he ad- after we addressed, he got addressed about it. He said, "No, that's not what I want to do." Mm-hmm. Three, 
if he does it legally and goes through the process of actually amending it to cause it that we can legally move the election because of some, such and such factors, I agree with that then because he not my it's not my preference, but I agree with it because then he was able to get it done legally or whatever. Yeah, so I, to like, I totally yeah, agree with you. Yeah, so I heard you on all three of your points. On one, that's good. I do disagree with him if it's something he's moving out to just undo. Uh, shit. You know, one, I do disagree if it's something that he's just going to straight up do. Two, I don't accept that he doesn't want to do it because people do things they don't want to do all the time, and I responded to that. It seems that like if you're still submitting that and you don't understand why I don't accept it as a good reason and you're still submitting it, you haven't heard me. And then for three, that if he does it legally, I have three questions that will make that seem on its face completely ridiculous. Okay. So first question, do you think that you can get 37 states to vote, have their major legislature all vote on the same thing within three or four months? No, but that's why. No? You don't think that's possible? I don't really care because he can't. No, 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 that's what. Well, because yeah, I'm asking know, you about the legal pathway. Because he's not gonna do. It. Oh my gosh, let me finish the sentence. Bro. That's why I don't really care because I know he can't do that. He can't. He won't be able to even if he wanted to. Okay, so so here, I hold that thought. Really hold on to that thought that mm -hmm. you know that he's not able to. I want you to not let go of that for okay. a second. Okay. So you know he's not able to get it through legally. We understand, because I was going to name the other two ways that you make an amendment legally in America. So once we understand that he can't do it legally and he's suggesting it, what does that mean implicitly? I mean that he's not going to get it done. So the only Wait, way Wait, stop, stop. No, you, went, you answered a different question. You answered a different question. I, I didn't ask, like... What does it mean when someone says, I would like for this thing to happen, and we all understand that thing can't happen legally? What does that mean that that person wants? I mean, either he's going to do like an executive order or something. I right. don't know how, how he would do that. So then him doing that, that's on him. I well, definitely I, oh, wait, exactly. Okay, so, so real quick, we're, we're almost there. You're, you're coming with me so close. So we know that he's thinking of doing something maybe by executive order which wouldn't be the legal way, so we know he's planning on doing it an illegal way if he's suggesting I mean, exec executive order kind of is a legal thing, but... It's, yes, it's, but it's, not, it's, to cha not for this, though. Not for this specifically. Specifically, this is in the way the Constitution works. If it's in the Constitution, you can't do it. And if it's outside the Constitution, freedom. That's how the Constitution works. And so this is in the Constitution. That he can't do this. So what I, so then we both understand that what he's suggesting is to do illegal action. We both get this. So the third option is ridiculous if he does it what legally. Do we, That's a ridiculous option because we both understand that can't happen. Yes. That it's, can't it's, happen. It we both awesome. get it as, as we're both adults. We both know how yeah, yeah, like a molecule. Not, not exactly. Happen. So the third one's ridiculous. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, I mean, so a, maybe we shouldn't bring up like because like I would like to vote for Donald Trump if he like became a socialist. Like if Donald Trump started like learning the wings how to fly, or if he started reading every single book. But for me to suggest that as something that is possible is ridiculous. So that's similar to what you did with the third option there. The reason I said I put it as an option there is just because there is a possibility it could work. But it's definitely very, very, very close to impossible. Right. So well, that's why. That's, that's why You know, there's, like, yeah, there's like, also, there's also a chance that he could have a turn of heart. Should I start talking huh? about if that happens? Like, there's a small what? chance he could just, he could go back to being a Democrat like he used to be like ten years ago. I could just okay. think that that might happen since there's a small, there's a small chance. It's possible. It's not really likely. Yeah. You know, it doesn't really make that much sense, but it could happen. You know, should I start talking yes, about that as why, if it's why, should I start talking about that as if it's reality? That, no, that's what I'm saying. But it, it can't happen though. If it, if somehow that's why I said if somehow magically he was able to get it done. I would like to keep magic out of our conversations if we could, please. No, but, 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 I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like if we if we could I mean, keep like, magic out of our conversations magic, about real uh, life, uh, I as the snowflake would appreciate it because I might melt under the powerful magic power.
you realize, but you realize I'm just using magic as a way to be like just to say impossible. Like yeah, it's, but it's like I, I would rather not talk about impossible situations. Is what I'm getting at in a playful manner. But like yeah, it's it's, it's impossible, but it's not. I would like to not talk about nearly impossible situations. Impossible. Is what I'm getting out in a playful manner. It's also possible for everyone to submit and come over and kiss his ring. You know, I would rather not talk about nearly impossible situations and talk about reality as it most likely is. Can we do that? And yeah, like that's what I'm saying though. Like, it like that is reality though. It could happen if he. If Lots of things could happen. I would like to talk about reality as it most likely is. Is that something we can? Yeah. Like, All right. So then let's stop talking about things that are unlikely. Pretty please. All right. So then, what, what you're then saying is. Okay, then he could, then, like, we could just think that he could then possibly just do it and then just force everybody to. Yeah, all of Congress could just pass his law right now. They could. All of Congress could just push through every single thing Donald Trump wants to go through office. They absolutely could. They have the power. They could. They totally could. They're not going to. Let's talk about what's really going to happen. Let's talk about what how people are really going to vote based on what their needs are. Let's talk about reality, please. That's Can you I'm join saying, me in reality, bro. Emmanuel? Either, either, either way, bro. Whether he is doing it illegally or legally, it's very difficult. Things are just gonna stay the same. So that's what I mean. Like, where it's not. Did you just? Did you just make, make the situations, situations where he breaks the law and doesn't break the law seem equal? Like, dude. Like, dude. Like, he's really. really you just I made a situation like so. I thought you said he wasn't allowed to break the law. So now we're going back to the argument from last night where he is allowed to break the law. I don't know, man. No, 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 no. Consistency, no, no, no. please. No, no, no. Consistency no, no, no. check. Time. You, 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 you talk for like long time. Right. Take, take as much time. time take as much time as you need to explain all right, this. All right, all right, all right. All right. Let's, let me clarify this part, okay? Mm -hmm. If if he does force it, he's not a stupid person. He's not going to. That's that. That's why I'm saying it's just as unlikely of him to actually force it than uh, for him. Because he knows the media is against him. He knows all this. He knows that they'll play this whole thing against him. They know how that works. He knows how that works. He knows the media is against him. He knows all these factors are going to be against him. It's just all as unlikely for him to do it illegally than it is for him to do it legally. No. All these factors contribute to it. I'm just saying. It's not the same for him to do it legally as illegally. It's very different. No, I'm saying like it's just like basically. I know you're just like, saying, but you're trying to be last, fast and loose with words. But it's not how that is. He's not the same when he breaks the law. It's not the same when I break the law. It's not the same when you break the law. When we break the law, I, things not, are I, different. I, That's reality. Yeah, but like, no, I'm saying the chances, not not the same as in like the vibe. I'm talking about the chances of him actually doing it because he's not stupid enough to like. You just do that, you know. So you say, like, see, he, he knows, you say that he he's not he stupid enough, but sometimes making power moves can actually be a very smart and calculated decision. I would in no way ever say that like Caesar or like other dictators were stupid. Like there is no way that you can paint someone who grabs a whole bunch of power effectively as stupid. You can't do that. That they grabbed a whole bunch of power real quick, you know. And yeah, so true. if he just makes a power move. Oh, this whole stupid argument goes right out the fucking window. Because it's not like he sits there and it bites him on his ass. He'll make a power move and he'll take something. And people will work with him because they're like, well, he has it now. And what we need to address is the issue of someone who's willing to suggest that that's something they're going to do. And I'd rather put someone who has those tendencies as far away from the Oval Office as I can. Those tendencies are dangerous Bro, to have okay. as the leader of the free world. You know, you... All right. You know why I'm saying it's really impossible? I get why you're saying it's really impossible because it would take because I, I understand what it would take to get an amendment passed because I've been part of a Wolfpack group to get an amendment passed. I understand how hard it is to get an amendment passed. I understand how implausible it is. I get why you're saying it. It's a bad argument. No, no, but I'm saying is there's like I'm the reason I'm saying it's just as impossible on both scenarios to get it passed or to get it like passed done illegally is because he knows that. Like you're talking about like dictators and stuff and blah blah blah. Oh, you, you wanna know? know you wanna know how you get it passed wait, wait, legally? Wait, 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 let me finish my thought. Your fucking heart. Jesus! You think it's impossible to fucking move an election? Wow. Okay. Sure. Bro, bro, Explain bro, bro, to me bro, how bro, it's bro, impossible bro, bro. to move an election. Bro, bro. Tell me I, how I, that. Let me finish. 
Yeah, go. All right, bro. Bro, bro, okay. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I, the reason I'm saying it's quite literally impossible for him to do that, at least, like, even if he, okay, like, a scenario, right, where he, he is stupid enough, right, to go ahead and say, I'm forcing a movement of the election day, All right? A scenario like that. Mm-hmm. You, like, you talk about dictators and how dictators aren't stupid and stuff. That would be the stupidest move ever with the Black Lives Matter riots, with the media against them, with everything like going on. All these factors, riots, protests, the media ready to jump on anything he does at any given second. Like all these factors, the Republican Party ha- going to have to go against him too if he does that. All these factors adding together makes it just as stupid for Trump to do that stuff illegally because of all these factors that contribute to it. He's, he knows he's not going to do it. Nobody's going to do that because at the end of the day, it's just going to end up getting kicked out. They're like Now they have a legitimate reason to actually kick him out of right. office. He colluded with Russia like, and they did, didn't kick yeah. him out. Russia was our biggest adversary for years. He went behind, he worked with them during the fucking election. People in his campaign got wait, arrested so wait, 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 and wait. sent to jail for lying to the American government about how many t- uh, connections they had with Russians. And then after they went to oh. jail, some of them were released by Donald Trump on tradition of pardon for not giving him up during the trial proceedings, which Flynn said that they had absolutely, or not Flynn, which um, the investigator of that actually said that he had not enough evidence in some cases because of the collusion, in which case that they didn't give them certain wait, evidence. Wait, wait, wait. So, no, I don't accept that I'll just because it, he does it. a stupid thing that is smart enough to not do it because there are people who will support him no matter what. They support him when he doesn't wear a mask. They support him when he wears a mask. They support him when they cusses. They support him when he cheats. They don't care what he does. They support him when he grabs pussy. They don't give a fuck what he does. Oh, I, right, I, right, I, right, I right, completely right. reject the idea that just we're because something might not be favorable, he won't do it. That's a, that is also a bad argument. Okay, so, hey, what's up, Caleb? Uh, hey, Caleb. Yeah, so, he, so here, but, uh, basically what I'm saying is, bro, all right? I hear what all you're right? saying. You're, giving, oh, you're oh, saying that God. he's not breaking he's the law. Not you're not saying that he's just oh, making he's... suggestions. You're saying that, like, since he didn't actually do it, it's not that bad a thing. And even though it's the impossibility of him being able to carry it out because you think it's just as unlikely for him to stop an election as it is for them to vote to extend the election are equal. Therefore, we shouldn't think about it. And you're being ridiculous by making that argument. I hear you 100%. I don't think you're hearing my you response get what you at get, all. Why? What is my argument? The argument is like uh, you're basically trying to say like either way, whatever, like with him doing that is like illegal if he thinks about it just by thinking about it. Because you're saying, oh, just by thinking about it, now um, that's really basically like as much as as much. You're basically like putting putting more Wrong. as much. Emphasis. Okay, well, okay, go ahead, sir. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not illegal for him to think about it, but we should have issues. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, I'm saying. Okay, wait, wait. You didn't, see how you didn't. Like- Oh, I'm sorry. I responded to your words as you said them. Try, I guess, say different ones. Oh, my goodness. I just got banned on this. On Instagram Live? Yeah. Sorry, they I guess. Gave me a ban- no, 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 like a TikTok. Yeah, they banned me for one minute. Fuck. Yeah, sorry. I shouldn't. I'll try my hardest. I On my stream, I have an 18 plus warning. I, I, you told me ahead of time. That's my bad. I hope that wasn't for me. Yeah, I should have known that would happen. Yeah, I guess you know what I heard. What, what did I do? Yeah, oh, well. I, I'm surprised they don't like that word. It's a presidential word. The president uses it. <laughs> what, what, what word? Oh, the P word. Oh, the grabbing by the pussy word? Yeah. I mean, I mean, bro, like, you, like, I mean, that's really, like, him saying it, like, like, so honestly, we're not gonna, I don't really care. No, 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 like, we're just going to move on to the new thing, then? Yeah, we can move on to it, I guess. But I'm just saying, I don't like really care that he says that. I mean, like, there's a big difference between like. So, yeah, just so, I, I, so like, before so... we move on, because I clarified your argument, you agreed that I got it right, but you mischaracterized mine. So my argument well, is uh... that. Or, or okay, were you go still going to take another shot at trying to correctly characterize my argument? Because you stopped no, no, and talked about the argument. Oh wait, wait. Okay, uh, you're, you're basically what I'm saying is you're like. No, no. What am I saying? Because basically... I, I understand what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 I repeated yeah, yeah, yeah. it so to you. What am I saying? That's what that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay, for sure. You're basically you're, like what I'm what I'm what I'm like what I'm getting from what you're saying is that you're basically equating him like thinking of this and then thinking of like okay just because he thought of it 
No, that like that that doesn't mean that he that that doesn't mean that he's not gonna be able to take the actions. People do things that they think about all the time and then be like, Oh, I'm not gonna do that, but then that's basically your whole point. So it's just like it's closer yeah, to my point. That's basically, that's basically that what I was people, gonna say. people who suggest dangerous things shouldn't be given power. Basically. I mean like a lot no, of No, I mean it's it's as reductive as that, really. Like people who suggest dangerous but, things shouldn't be given power. A lot of presidents have to dude, things are gonna be suggested if you're president, bro. You're gonna have to suggest you have to suggest things all the time. Yeah, but unconstitutional things are off the table. War is I mean, something they, that they, should they, be off the table but isn't because sometimes we have to defend ourselves. Like there are things that are on the things, table. Constitution hey, hey, no. wait, 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 wait. never. Let's clarify. Never. Let's I'm surprised clarify. that you could be a conservative let's, and put the constitution on the wait, table. Wait, 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 so wait, wait, I'm guessing you would never identify wait, wait. as a constitutional conservative. Wait, wait, so Let's just clarify this, right? Okay. Uh, and and then slavery, at a, I mean, like giving people, giving black people equal rights at a certain point, unconstitutional. At a certain point, and people suggested it, and we were people were like, "You crazy for suggesting that?" Well, actually, that's well, not you, that's but, not unconstitutional. Do you want to know why? 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 Okay, so the way the constitution works, as I said before, is that if it's in the constitution. And you go against it, that's unconstitutional. But if it's not in the constitutional, if it's not in the constitution, that's freedom. So treating people, treating black people the same as white people, wasn't in the constitution. That was a freedom choice. You had the freedom to do it or well, not. After, but the, the third... after we made it constitutional, All right, then it was the thing, unconstitutional right? to treat people differently based off of how they looked and all of that. So it, so yeah, if you took the argument there's, that there's, it was. There's... There's amendments, right? That yes. literally gave black people rights to vote. Yeah, right. Like that's that was unconstitutional before, according to people. Now it's constitutional because they had an amendment to make it possible, and it had to start off with a thought. It had to start off with someone thinking of something and something that people thought was crazy at the time. Mm-hmm. Then they thought about it, and then they went through a process. Then they did what they had to do to get Would it. Would you like to think about like, it together? Think about what together. Uh, think about whether or not we should have a country that regularly delays elections. Let's think about that together. Right. I'm, not, I'm not saying regularly, bro, but if I it mean, it should be something. Situation. It should be a tool that we have, and if we never use it, like, what would be the point of it? We should just have it, like, to use. What do you mean? Like, I don't want to. I don't want to ever. Once again, once again. Like, if I can show again, that every election is going to be fraudulent, maybe we should just use it every year. You know. I mean, what, but once again, this is a special year. That's why. What makes this, this year, year special? It's been, Coronavirus, people can't go out to vote. That's the reason that makes it special. Yeah, right. That's why so, people are. That's why. That's, that's why we're having this whole idea of like mailing voting and all this conflict and blah 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 going back and forth. That's what makes this year special. Like it does. It, that, you can't change that. All right. So just because we have the coronavirus and but we we, we agree not that, just because right. Oh, and but you because you also because. that's right because you also disagree with the president on the absentee voting. You think the president's wrong for saying that absentee voting is good. That also kind of makes sense. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know who becomes president on well, yeah, January 24th? If nobody huh? votes? Do you know who becomes president on January 24th and nobody votes? If nobody votes? Nobody votes. Uh, who does? I don't know. Uh, you know what well, I, you, I used to think it was Nancy Pelosi, but it's not her. Because she was also up for vote. So it would go okay. to... Uh, oh, dude, I just, oh, his, just brain farted his name. Jim something. Shit. Damn. Anyways. We have, like, actual serious issues if we don't have the person who comes up to vote actually vote. And then I personally know... Wait, wait, so you're saying... What? I'm sorry, what was the question? Wait, you were saying no way to test what? Yeah, I in no way trust that if Donald Trump extends, that he's going to peacefully walk out. I don't see that as happening. But you 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 really uh, think you're uh no well, yeah that, I mean, for sure you're... for sure if that one you want to say that I'm more conspiratorial for sure but you know who was uh, else was conspiratorial the people who were saying that Donald Trump was going to ask to extend the election those people were also conspiratorial and it seemed to be that the conservatives were saying oh my God Democrats want coronavirus to go through November so that way they can win the election but it seems like that's something <laughs> Trump's relying on so that way he can delay the election so. 
I'm also yeah, confused. I'm also confused on the issue we have on how we're gonna somehow delay the election and send kids back to school. That somehow doesn't more? make sense to me. So if you're gonna try and tell me that there's no ulterior motive and he's only following the science, I'm gonna have to fucking disagree with you on that one. Sorry, I get it. I let it slip. But, but, but I but, seriously have to disagree but, with you on that because it no, doesn't. I'm not, I'm not it's not a consistent policy that follows the scientific data. It's something that but, simply does you, what you, he wants okay, to do you, for political you, convenience. So no, I don't but trust you, him. But you, but you're just to clarify with you, right? You're literally saying that he's you're basically going off of the idea that he is he does want to do it. When we just found out that he made sure to clarify, no, I don't. He was just listing up uh, why people why it's uh, a thing. Again, you're you're like, re you're well, relying on this as if it is somehow a strong argument. If, if, if I, I'm gonna let oh you, God. I'm gonna let you finish, Emmanuel. But in this Bro, time, of, the, the, Emmanuel, you, Emmanuel, you, no, 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 seriously, you, seriously, seriously, oh, I'm gonna let you finish. Yeah, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm not gonna talk for the whole rest of the thing. I'm gonna let you finish. But I'm gonna, I want to be very straight up right here. If you don't give a very good reason on why him saying I don't want to do it right now is is a good reason to say that him saying he's gonna do it but doesn't want to somehow makes it as if he didn't say I want to do it then I'm gonna shut you down every time you say the phrase but he didn't say he wants to because I've explained to you very explicitly why that is complete through and through an SHIT argument top to bottom so you and know, unless okay. you give a reason you why it's not a, an s-h-i-t oh, argument if you just submit that he didn't make want to what i'm thinking bro you do this every time let me finish what i'm thinking because now i'm losing what i was trying to link this oh my god right because you're not gonna you gotta work on that you gotta tell work me on why... that bro. I, if every time i have a thought you like always jump in like oh, now like oh my gosh you can uh, say I always jump in, but I understand that it's hard to keep your thoughts straight when you start to realize that a lot of them are No, no, it's not that. I literally, I I'm know, in the middle. I know, I know. No, no one ever admits to it being that. You're in good company. Bro, bro, bro. You literally, but you cannot deny that I literally, I'll let you speak for like minutes. I'm not even kidding. Minutes, you'll just keep talking. I'll be silent. And as soon as I say something, you butt in right away. But, but like, you're I'm literally not saying the same argument over and over and over again, and I've reiterated your argument to you. You bro, don't seem to be able I to grasp really mine. Had a, you know, here's the thing. I had a different argument, and you keep butting in before I even get to finish, though. Okay. Like, well, you, would, you're going to make me lose my, you're gonna make you, me lose my train of thought every single time, bro. Like, okay. I, you can't just keep doing that. I let you, you notice how I let you speak out every single time, right? You notice that. I stay quiet. I might be like, oh. But I always let you know there's actually been several times I've been speaking yes, and then you went I to do, cut me off and I had to keep talking through you. So, yeah, no, majority no, of the time, bro. No, I've been majority, watching majority of the time. It's you talking and talking and I'm like literally wa waiting for you and I'll try to be and I'm dude, you can just tell that you can know that because of how many times I have to be like, okay, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. All right, bro. Let me finish. I've done that many times. You can tell that you're the one that keeps doing that constantly. And you know how many times I have to see that? It's, sure. it's not me. It's not me, man. It's not sure. me. I'm just saying. But you forgot but, the argument, though, now. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. Can you stop doing the interruptions every two seconds? But, yeah, okay. So it had to do with uh, you saying that uh, Trump... Uh, oh, my gosh. It has to do with Trump, right? Saying... Okay, you you say, oh, dude, you, I, you was, was, just, I'll you. You wanted to say that he didn't want to do it. He didn't. He said it wasn't something he wanted to do. That's what. That's where you started to go down. And then there, there was something about schools that I was gonna connect it to. You know? Yeah, because I, I said that it's ridiculous to say that it's not safe. If you're saying that we have to delay the election due to Corona, but it's okay to go back to schools in like thirty days. Okay, so I think it had definitely something to do with schools and uh -huh. let the. All right. Uh, right. God bless. All right. So, oh my God, bro, no, 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 don't, 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 don't think this. Don't do the, don't do that phase because, dude, you're quite literally always interrupting me as soon as I'm like middle of middle, literally need of For sure. connecting two thoughts. I'll give you, I'll give you a second. I'm gonna go grab a thing. Can we, can we, can you, can you read what we were talking about before that? Yeah. I'm, so like, I was I'm saying of... that I do, I do not trust Donald Trump because he has done a whole bunch of things that are he suggested. And try to take action on things that are unconstitutional. And then on top of that, when you look at the policies he's trying to enact, it doesn't go with science. Because he's saying that it's unsafe to go to the ballot box and we should delay the election. But also that it's safe to send kids to school in a month. So, I don't understand how all that makes sense. And because he's not following science and he's doing stuff that is politically advantageous, I do not trust him to simply do the right thing because that's not what he's done up to this point 
Up to this point, he has done something that is actually quite quite different from that. All right. So and okay, now I'm trying. I'm trying to remember now. Okay. So it had it had to it had to do with the fact that you said that like uh, that he said. Oh my gosh, no, no. Okay, it had to do with something with the fact that you said that Trump was like. Okay, so you're basically. Oh wait, so basically you're like saying okay, like you're acting as if he actually. Oh my gosh, broke. Okay, okay. Take a second. Now, now I'm like I'm trying. Now, now I'm trying to connect everything that I just lost. That dude, I had a whole paragraph in my head too. Mm-hmm. Something about how he didn't want to do it, and that like sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do. Yeah. Had to but, do. Like, okay. No, 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 it's not that. It has nothing to do with him and stuff he don't want to do. It's like, it had to do with, um, he's, he's, he clarified he did not want to, like, he does not want he met, he does not want he, that's already clarified. And then it's up in the air whether he really, like, so he, he gives out, he's giving out all the data as to why that is an option, like, but it's not really, like, solidifying, this is what I'm going to do. It's saying, okay, well, this makes sense, but, he even says it right afterwards. That's not what I want to do. Now, like it's up to you to believe what you want to believe, but I'll just take him at his word when he's when he clarifies. No, I was just like details of to why there might be a chance of that, but or why 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 that could be plausible. But then he says that's not what I want to do right afterwards. That you are you assuming mm-hmm. that that he definitely he definitely is likely to do what he's just thinking of isn't really a rational thing. And then what else I was gonna say? It has some. What I was thinking, I had, had some with this school stuff, mm-hmm. where the school stuff is like, yeah, he wants to open up the schools, like it makes sense, like o- like to open up the schools, but not to vote. Had something else to do with this thing, but not to vote, huh? But not to vote. But he does want people to vote. He says he wants people to vote. He's been consistent on the the whole one people to vote thing for like ever, and then he clarifies it again. He's been consistent on that. He said he suggested one time and doesn't like like blatantly say that he that's exactly the actions he's gonna take. Him suggesting it one time does not mean we, we ignore the fact that for the per- long per- majority of the time, he said, I want you to go in and vote. And then even after what he clarifies, I still want you to go in and vote. I don't trust the mailing voting. Like, and it's still consistent with the whole going to school thing because children, it's a, a disease with like a 99 point like a special something. case and I couldn't deny that this was a special year. I thought that was undeniable. Yeah, How this are is you like denying that year. now? Yeah, exactly. People are in danger. How could you deny that this is special and just expect people to go in and vote? It's a ninety. It, it's it's a not. It's a disease with a ninety nine point like eight six percent survival rate. Mm-hmm. Kids are like oh, so least wait, susceptible. So is it not a special wait, 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 wait. year? Is it just another disease? I'm confused. It is a special year. Like the coronavirus is literally a special year. Like it's caused all this crazy stuff to happen in America. There's a lot of there's a lot of factors added to why people don't want to vote and all that. It's so a special we, year. You cannot. So you then can't we should vote that. out of fear, or should we not vote out of safety? I'm confused. I think that's what I'm confused about. If you wear your mask, stay distant, you should be going to vote. If so, you can protest. So the vote, whole I, so if, if we can go to vote if we wear our mask. No, no, because you're these are the threads you're missing. No, I'm taking you I'm taking you down a, a thought path and I'm giving very simple answers. No, I, I understand. I asked you three questions. You wanted to give a longer answer to one of them. But like you just answered it in a single I just need to see that I was Okay. Bro, you can clearly see that I was on the path to say something else. You can see that I was spinning up my dreidel. Just go. Just go. All right. Quite literally, if you t- if you say, all right, all right, let me see something. Mm-hmm. If you if you quite literally say, right, wait, what was this? What was I talking about? I got distracted. Um, but yeah, if you quite literally say, wait, what was the subject? I'm oh, sorry. I, I, it was like um. I was asking you a straightforward mm-hmm. line of questioning on whether or not. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So, uh, like someone, uh. And I didn't get it. Uh, I was asking you a straightforward line of questioning on <laughs> whether or not it was safe to vote in November. Oh, or, and then it. you said that it was safe. And my very next question was going to be, then why even have the suggestion of needing to change the Constitution legally to extend? Got it. You got it. Yeah. You got it. I got the same. I got the same. If it's safe, why so, do all the so, extra so, bullshit? Got it. Got it. Got it. So quite literally, you can have people waiting in line, right? Mm-hmm. Now everybody's saying, "Oh, it's it's a it's definitely your right to go out and like." So voting is literally one of the most 
like sacred things you can do as a person, right? Going to vote is one of the most sacred things you can do for your rights, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you have, uh, like, uh, suggesting, yeah, that, like, just like the protest thing, just su super secret, right? You should do that for your rights, right? Then they have mass people protesting, hundreds of thousands packed together, and there's images of it. You can't deny it. I love right? how we're talking about something different now. Keep going. No, 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 no. The no, mass no. protesters, there's pictures of them, hundreds of thousands, yeah. yeah yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So now voting is definitely a very, very, very important. Yeah, it's very important, Americans. Okay, cool. So, yeah, like, so you're saying, people are saying it's very important to do protest. Now, we should do the same thing with voting. It, like in person, if we can do all that, like that, in no way answered my question, but it was a wonderful path, and I'm glad you brought me down it. Uh, okay, but yeah, if people can do that, my question was? Then, it, then it's definitely very much important to do. You don't remember what my question was, well. do you? Uh, okay, which question was it? You have a bunch, you have a bunch <laughs> it of was the most recent one. Which one? Which one? Okay, <laughs> if. <laughs> If uh, it's safe to vote and go to school, why in any way should the president suggest to change the Constitution to extend the date to vote? Why would that even be something he mentions out loud to people and says that it's an action they're considering? Okay. Why would they consider that action if it's safe to vote and go to school? That's my question. Been my question for like the last it's 10 safe legitimate minutes. To move the, okay. If it's safe to vote, go to school. Why is he suggesting? Yeah, why is he? Suggesting? Because there's a bunch of factors. Because there's a bunch of factors. Like, there's there's a bunch of questions that you got just like quite literally things getting rescheduled. You not being started, able. You just started popping in and out. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. You just started breaking in and out. All right. Wait a second. Okay. Wait. Now try again. All right. There's a lot of factors to it. Regulations that they have to take to be able to like to actually get the election going. Factors, mm -hmm. elections this year, a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of factors because of the virus. You have to think in consideration. There's a lot, there's a couple reasons like that. The way that it's going to be managed, how how it's said. Damn, well, hold up. You fucking, why? Why is this happening? You just, like, cut out mad. I don't know. <laughs> you know, but, like, uh, but I think I can still generally respond without, because I think what you were was saying was that there's a number of yeah. factors, there's a number of regulations we have to put into place, there's a number of things we have to do to keep people safe and all that. And okay. what I'm asking is if we can do that for school. Okay. With more people standing in line and more people in rooms for longer periods of time over a much longer duration, a lot closer together, exchanging physical materials more often. How is that something we can literally do this month? But voting where it's someone who interacts with a small group of people and there's only like three people who actually exchange physical items will be unsafe five months from now. I'm asking how that makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense, it must also not make sense for the president in any way to suggest that that's something we have to delay for. Therefore, the suggestion itself not only is unconstitutional, but is unnecessary. Then I was asking you if you could answer that question. Yeah, if you just think said that, that it is necessary, or if you think that somehow, like that somehow that's necessary. Uh, so yeah, I'm saying it's uh, necessary because factors, quite literally. And wait, but like, can you apply all those factors to school though? To school? Yeah, like all the all, yeah, all, I mean, all like, those factors are a, being applied to schools right now. There's gonna be like there's there's gonna be different setups for school, just like was they gonna change? They like in, they have the uh, schools are are reopening. Are you so doing, the are you doing something safe. else with the uh, with the tablet or the phone that you're using? Uh, no, it's just my laptop. It keeps, like, cutting out, like, uh, every two seconds. Am I doing the same thing? 
Yeah. I know you're not cutting out. Can you hear me? Yeah. Well, yeah, but like every once in a while when you're like relisting stuff, like something will drop off the list and we'll miss it. Sure. But yeah, like in schools, schools are really, a lot of necessary. It's far more dangerous, right? To have the schools on than to have them. No, no, I, I understand the point to open the schools, but that's not what we're talking about, is whether or not we should open the schools. We're saying if the schools are open and okay. they're safe, why would okay. a voting place with less people, less contact for less time be more unsafe? So much so that we have to, like, we haven't delayed school. We haven't pushed school back a few months, you know? Why would the election have to be pushed back a few months if it's le more easy to handle, is what I'm asking. Because elections don't just take a second to plan. Like, it takes months and months to right. do, we to set up a We have months and months, and we have people who do yes. this every year. We, we understand that every four years we're going to do this. So we always yes, put in so the infrastructure. So we, so we have plans for it in the same way that we plan for school, and they've had more time to do so. So why would they be less safe or need to be rescheduled with more planning and less individuals or with less people for a less extended amount of time? Because, like, schools have to have long regulations for, like, a long time. So, like, how is this that has five more months to plan somehow more dangerous? Because of the fact that, like, quite literally, like, because of all the factors in uh setting up there's gonna be a bunch of diff different uh, different types of set up for every state every every place every state is gonna have their that's why they might and they said obviously I'm more but that's why it might state will have to be like there's gonna be a lot of politics into it obviously like Oh my god, this is so hard. Like, I actually genuinely can't hear your words. Like, I literally am just getting every other word. Mm, I wonder why. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Let's see if it's weird. Uh, Do you have, like, a set of headphones you can plug into it? Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Yeah, a little bit better. You can hear me now? Yeah, because, cause, like, all, all right. I really got from that was that you think there are certain factors, and I don't know if you named any, but I didn't hear any. They might have been glitched out. Okay, let me try again. Can you hear me clearly? No, nah, you still do the thing at the end of your sentence. Hmm. So it's... Uh, I, the, it. I, don't know what, I don't know what to say about it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's rough. Let me put it up on the Googler real quick. I think I'm supposed to move the uh, server. I don't know how to. I don't think I can do that midstream. That's what I'm going to have to shut down for. Yeah. You know, it's rough because I feel like you have an answer to this, and I would really like to get the whole answer, but like you actually genuinely keep cutting out for it. Sure. All right, can you hear me right now? Uh, not really, but if you speak slowly, I think we'll get it. I think that's the best we can okay. ask for. And if, if we get too many problems, we might just have to maybe come back to this a different day because audio Yeah, I don't know what's going on. And we haven't only even gotten, we've only even gotten to like one of Trump's policies. Thanks, folks. Yeah, I don't know. No, you're frozen. Weird. No, you're frozen. All right, That's let me so see. Weird. Oh, I'm super quiet too. How about there now? How about now? Oh, that sounded a lot better. Okay. All right, All right. let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh, so basically, I'm saying in state. Uh, and there's, there's gonna be this. Can you hear me? It's so frustrating. It's like right when you go to describe. Like it works as we test it, and then right when you go to say what you want to say, it cuts out every time. Uh, 
Like you say, uh, all the different states have there, and then it goes quiet. He's clear on Twitch? Oh, okay, that's weird. So maybe it has to be on my end then. Give me one hot second. Let me try. Okay, try it, try it now. You said what? Oh, okay. Now I can hear you. I just got to work through hearing myself. Okay. So should I go? On? Uh, should I yeah. Go on? Let's let's try one more time. All right. So there's gonna be a lot of politics involved. Can yeah, there's you? gonna be a lot of politics involved. All right. Each state is gonna have their own individual, especially when it gets like the the especially with in place. Listen, man. Each state is not gonna. They're not gonna think ahead of time. They're gonna be like, oh. It's it's about that time now. Now people are gonna be like, wait, this and that, this factor, this factor, this factor. They're gonna start putting this, this and this and this. There's a you reason think the why people that run elections are gonna be so late to the game? They're gonna be doing their job like a late college student. No, no, not that. I'm saying that they'll quite have to end. Up. Like they'll end up like changing this and this. Things get like things get closer. Now there's gonna there's gonna be a lot of state different needs, different factors apply to different. Now, so like you're still breaking up, but what I'm getting is that each state is gonna change certain factors based on what's happening for them, because basically. as the election gets closer, based to their specific details. Yep. All right. So uh, that is something that they deal with every year. Like yeah, just saying like that there year. can't be a federal overarching plan that puts something in place for people to be able to like go and vote regularly doesn't mean or like um sorry I miss I misspoke. Just because states are gonna have their own certain rules and laws about when they vote doesn't mean that like you have to completely reschedule everything. Like there are certain people whose whole job in that state government is to plan the election. So, like, when all this was going down, especially back in February and March, the people whose whole job is to plan stuff in the future, they were already working on that. To try and paint them out as, like, they're just sitting around with their thumbs on their butts waiting for their UI check is a little bit straw manny. Let's see. So, what are you looking for? No, I'm trying to I'm trying to see like his specific reason. Like I remember Oh, I think it's that Discord's not even picking up your sound. I think you're like too far away from the mic or like looking away from it. Okay, how about this? Oh, that's better. All right. So, uh basically it's it's I mean, I I can already said it. It's the states Depends on what happens. There's a lot of factors this pop up. This, this. I mean, like, like we we can see situations. As soon as uh the thing starts, we're gonna be like, oh well, this thing just pop. There's gonna be situations. Like, oh, well, this is gonna be this and that. There's gonna be state is gonna have to change. Yo, I'm 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 so sorry, Emmanuel. The audio is, is just not fixing. And audio is like one of the most important part of like a of running a stream or anything like that. And I think I might have to call us to a sudden end if I can't fix this. Yeah, we can move we can move it to a different Yeah, no. Um wait, do you, you have you, wait, do you have access you to Zoom? A, do you, uh do you use Instagram? Uh, I do use Instagram. You want to do it there then? Because, like, I guess we can have... That'd be interesting. Let but, me but, see if I can go... Then, then get two in there on my computer.
But honestly, we, uh, let's we can push this for a different. There's a, let's put there's something else that it's a today's America page. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You cut out a little bit. You said something about today's main page. Yeah. Um, like, I might have to, uh, this right here, the Today's America page, because mm-hmm. I, I might have to do it like, a meeting with because uh, we have, like, a group chat, and I might have to go do, like, a quick video, too, so. I mean, it's probably I didn't, better I didn't hear all of that, but I get the gist of it is that you kind of have to stream on that because you got an obligation. Basically, but it's it's uh it's a uh, it's a. Uh... All right, what can you can you see me? Yeah, like a, a little piece. bit. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's like a kind of a group chat kind of thing, and we end up have, having to have like in person, but mm-hmm. FaceTime me. Um, yeah, I got like actually it's been popping up. I can't think. I should probably go too. Well, we can uh, either keep. Uh, this to the conversation tonight. I don't know. I'd be I'd be down to move it. There's a couple things I'd like to uh fix and edit because I'm having I'm sure as you can see I'm having my edit share of technical difficulties. Yeah, alright, man, I got you. Alright, peace. Alrighty, hey, dude, thanks for coming through. I really appreciate you giving um, me more of your time. And like, dude, man to man, you're doing way fucking better than Tover. Like, I had a talk with him, and he was pretty decent, but, like, he fucking ran after, like, any first conversation. And I got I got mad respect for you for keep coming back and putting up with my quirky bullshit. I got you, man. All right, have a good day. I'll talk to you all. Sure. All right, man, peace. He's, a man, he's at Emmanuel he's Haruno on TikTok. All righty. Alrighty, guys, we're going to call another shaky end to another mostly broken stream. Oh, I got to take that out of my fucking ear. I can't do that. Oh, my God. Hearing your own voice come back, it, like, make it destroys all your cadence. Destroys my energy. Okay, so we're going to fix some stuff. We're going to come back. We're going to do that. But, yeah, I think that was a pretty wholesome debate. Uh, there was some stuff there that I didn't quite understand that he for the point that he was made. i mean i understood the point i just didn't understand why he felt like repeating it would make the point better um that is one of the things that i think a lot of people don't understand when they're making arguments that they'll just say something and then you'll be like no that doesn't actually answer the point that doesn't answer the question or respond to what i said and then they'll just kind of like repeat it as if it's so and i think that that's one of the big things that comes when people talk past each other because like oh you're just trying to convince me you're just trying to say like all this stuff and it's like well Maybe if we, like, actually respond to what we say instead of actually trying to use just, like, trigger words or buzzwords and all that to try and sound smarter, like, use the pre-recorded arguments, like, meet people where they are and ask them genuine questions. Like, when you hear something about a structure, use that same structure in another way, you know? See if that's something that they still agree with. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not, you know? But, yeah, for anyone who's made it this far, thank you. I appreciate having you here. And I have no clue where you are or when you're watching this, but I do hope that everyone has a good morning, a great afternoon, and a nice night. Catch you guys later.